Hi guys, I hope you're all doing very well. Today I'm going to review the Sigma 18 to 35mm f1.8 DC HSM. This lens was made for cameras with a crop sensor, so in a Canon APS-C camera, the focal length will be equivalent to the focal length of the lens, which is 18 to 35mm, multiplied by 1.6, which gives us an equivalent of 28.8mm to 59mm. The lens is pretty big and heavy, it weighs 810 grams. The build quality is excellent, it really feels like a premium product. It is made of metal, glass and plastic. It also has rubber to give you a better grip on the zoom and focus ring. You can change the zooming range by playing with the ring closer to the base of the lens. The other one is to change the focus. They are very smooth and easy to turn and they are big so it is always easy to play with them. Personally I bought it as it is wide and I needed it in some occasions where I had to shoot inside small rooms. I also bought it as it has a constant f1.8 aperture which is very wide throughout all the zooming range. I will keep showing you some pictures and videos I took with this lens throughout the video. Some videos are from previous reviews I have done on my channel. Keep in mind that I took them with the Canon 60D. If you have an even better APS-C camera, you can get results which are way better than mine. Some pictures are also retouched, I am really showing you what type of results you can get with this lens. This lens uses an ultrasonic autofocus motor, it is extremely fast and it is silent. It has 17 glass elements and 9 diaphragm blades, which is good as it will make the lights of your bokeh look circular. The switch is pretty big and even if you are in autofocus mode, the lens has full time manual override. As I am a YouTuber and I do product reviews, I had to get a wide angle lens to shoot the products inside. This lens was the one I needed and I am very satisfied of the results it gave me. I can shoot products very easily and its wide aperture allows me to get a lot of bokeh when the lens is close to the object. The closest you can get to the object to get proper focus is 28 centimeters, which is very close and that will allow you to get a lot of bokeh even if it is a wide angle lens. This lens gives you a pretty decent zooming range, which will be just right for a lot of situations. If you are a videographer you should consider this lens as it is extremely sharp, it has very high quality build, the focus and zooming rings are very smooth and it will be just the perfect lens to use in a lot of situations. I found that the distortion on the corners of the lens were minimalistic and the same thing applies for the vignetting. The chromatic aberration can be seen at lower apertures but it is minimalistic. For its sharpness I just have to say that it is extremely sharp even at 1.8. I shot with model which works with a lot of professional photographers which have full frame cameras and professional lenses and the first thing she told me when we were reviewing the pictures is that they were super sharp. Overall I absolutely recommend this lens to anyone looking for a high quality piece of glass. Everything is good and I guarantee you that if you're looking for either a lens for videography, astrophotography, events photography or just a wide angle lens, this one is perfect for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did please remember to subscribe and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye and take care.